Luna Moth Creations and I am back with a box. It's a big one. This is my um, sacred space crate for July 2022. Super excited. And yes, I'm at a different angle. Um, I still have my altar set up for the crystal life sale that I did yesterday. So I haven't taken it down because I'm going to take some photos of some of the items that didn't sell and put them up in my Etsy store. So, um, yeah, so hello and welcome, guys. If you're new to my channel, excuse me, my <laughs> my monster uh, makes me burp. I'm very sorry about that. Anyways, if you're new to my channel and you've um, not already clicked out of it, I'm Lisa, and on my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things, including unboxings, so that's what we're gonna do today. But I also sell lots of witchy things in my Etsy store, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. It's entitled My Witchy Store down below. And I just had my first crystal live sale yesterday on Instagram, and I'm going to try to do this about every week. I work like every third weekend in my muggle job. So um, I don't know if I'll do a different day that week or if um, I will just skip that weekend. Um, and, you know, let me know in the comments below, is weekends good for live sales for y'all? Um, would you rather me do during the week? Like, what is your preference? And also, if there's a certain kind of crystal, um, whether it be like a certain type of crystal, like Amazonite or um, one of the calcites or whatever, which I had a bunch of calcite in my show. Um, or if you're like, I want palm stones, Lisa, don't give me these big, huge towers, <laughs> which I'll probably um, start doing a bit of, of everything so that you guys can, um, everybody can partake. So anyways, I've got a different angle because of that. Uh, my altar is over here right now, and usually it's pulled out and I'm facing like this way. So you see this like little lone broom, <laughs> little besom up here on the thing. Normally my, my altar is like right here and I have like a shelf right here that comes up to about here. <laughs> so you get this little baby besom right here, but he's cute. He's cute. All right, so I'm gonna start opening this box, but if you guys missed my live sale and you're interested, there's still tons left and I have not put it all on my Etsy store. So you can go um, to Instagram and the video, the replay of the, of the thing is live. And I know that you don't see the comments to see who, um, who purchased things, but trust me, tons still available, tons. So just DM me or whatever if you're interested. All right, so let's get back into our regularly scheduled programming. Um, I think I'll put this down here. Yeah, I rearranged this room for the live sale and I also cleaned it, guys. The, the crinkle paper monster, he is uh, now living in my, in my packing supplies <laughs> closet that I have. So, all right, so prosperity, yes ma'am, that's what we're talking about, is our theme for this month's box. This month, I want to focus on bringing prosperity into your home, one of the oldest and widest wisest traditions, in my opinion, is to set an altar of gold close to the entryway of your front door. This can be done even inconspicuously with items of gold that represent prosperity. I curated this box with the intention of giving you items that will bring prosperity into your home. All right. Oh, let me get down there. Maybe I'll put it on my lap. So, of course, our paper on top is uh, gold. And there's a sticker that says, Welcome Prosperity, Blessed Be, and it's got a, it's got Lakshmi, the deity Lakshmi. And of course the Sacred Space Crate logo. I'll show you the sticker. Hopefully um, this angle you guys will be able to see things, right? We'll see. Okay, so right on top we've got some incense. And of course it's prosperity. Uh, I hope that I've got my ring light that I use for my um, my live sale. It's very bright. <laughs> oh, I can already smell it. Ooh, it smell good. So prosperity incense. Let's see what this says. Prosperity incense sticks. This, these prosperity incense sticks carry a rich essence of musk with notes of basil and tea rose. Burn these magical incense sticks in your sacred space during, excuse me, before, during, and after your prosperity spell, 
or just any time you are wanting to draw in the energies of prosperity. Very nice. Yes, I would like some prosperity. How about y'all? Oh, very good. All right, I guess I'm going to start a new Creek of Paper Monster. For those of you that um, are new, um, because I have my Etsy store and recycling is really good and cost effective, um, I save the crinkle paper from my boxes to put in boxes that you purchase from me. <laughs> Which I actually have a humongous box full of crinkle paper that I bought um, for that purpose, but I'm like, hey, why not recycle? It's like, you shouldn't just use this once, right? So I've begun. Um, creating crinkle paper monsters on the floor. I'll put them right over here. Um, and then once he becomes a, an adult monster, he goes into my packing supply closet, and then I start off with a new baby monster again. So today, a new baby is born. Let us rejoice. I feel like I'm in church. I used to, um, my, my family's Catholic. Um, and I went to, believe it or not, y'all, and I feel like a lot of us are this way, that we started off like, in re well, it's not like my mom was like a Bible thumper or anything like that. My mom is cool. My mom's really cool. But she, she worships her some Jesus and all that. And, um, I did go to Catholic school growing up. And they always talked about rejoicing. So anyways, <laughs> I don't think there's anything in the paperwork about the Crankle Paper Monster, so we're going to move on to the next item. <laughs> and we, it appears, yes, it is Chinese Jade. Oh, I guess we're going to have to do it like this, because if you get um, too close. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause this really quick and put my other light, so that way I can zoom in. Uno momento. Hey, is that better? I don't know. Okay. No, it's not better. Actually, this light is, hold on, let me turn the dial up. There we go. Yeah, no, it's not better. So we're gonna have to do it back here. Hopefully it's gonna translate. Um, it's green. <laughs> it's Chinese jade, y'all. Okay. Um, yes, I will turn my altar back where it goes. I think I need to get like a permanent, I need to figure out some permanent situations up in here so that way um, I don't have to keep changing my setting. I need another, my setup. So I need another, uh, I need another table. Okay, green jade bracelet. Wearing jade, Jerry, wearing jade, okay, I think there's a typo, will bring you good luck. Just like a four, Leaf clover is considered a symbol of good fortune. Jade is thought to have protective, lucky charm energy. That's why you'll often see jade statues used in feng shui, feng shui, I love that word, feng shui, and why babies in Asian cultures are often gifted jade bracelets when they're born. Ooh, maybe I should put the jade bracelet on the crinkle paper baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah. Jade is considered a high-level gemstone for bringing wealth, prosperity, abundance, harmony, and luck to its users. It can be used in feng shui. <laughs> I just love saying it like that. Feng shui! <laughs> and because it's beautiful green color, it also represents gentleness. It is linked, so it's this guy, in case you guys are just tuning in. Um, it is linked with the earth, which helps remove imbalances in life. Therefore, it is a good investment if you are trying to improve the harmony within your business. Yes, I am. I mean, I feel I feel harmonious, but you know, um, jade naturally nourishes desires and passions, and it can be combined with other popular and effective gemstones in feng shui, feng shui, such as pyrite. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that because it's, you know, it's it's only so many, it's so much before it becomes annoying, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, next we have our. Um, where to put this right over there. We have our herb and we've got some alfalfa. Hopefully it is going to translate. And she puts these in these cute little jars that sit upright. Very nice. I have alfalfa in my store in case you guys are interested. I do. I don't know why I'm opening this to smell it. it smells like alfalfa. And I know what alfalfa smells like because a lot of people buy alfalfa from me in my store. <laughs> There's a lot of herbs that have very distinctive smells, and um, every time I open, because uh, I've got big, 
pounds, I've got pounds of incense, or not incense, that's not right, Lisa, what? Herbs, I have pounds of herbs um, to sell in my store, and whenever I pack people's orders, um, I smell them, is basically the, the, uh, the moral of my story here. Um, all right, then we got a salve, Colt's Foot, and it's, well, I'll read it in a minute, but we have this little salve, and they don't normally smell like anything, except for the time that I was like, they don't smell like anything, and then she was like, I put roses in it. I don't think this one smells like anything, but her salves are great. They, they really, they work extremely well. So let's see what this one says. If it says that it um, gets you money, I'm gonna slather it all over my body. Okay, <laughs> Colt's Foot is a wonderful herb to make into a salve, into a salve form, as it is a wonderful soothing salve for skin conditions such as eczema, sores, ulcers, and any inflammation issues. Oh, so um, I've got a little bit of stuff going on in my private life that I have not shared with you guys. Um, I might share that a little later, um, but I have been kind of stressed about it, and I woke up the other day with a fever blister, and ugh, God, fever blisters are the worst. They're, I mean, they're not. There's, there's worse things in life, but you know what I mean. So maybe this will work with my fever blister. What do you think? I don't know. It's an open wound, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of... Anyways, we'll see. Whatever. What, what's the worst that can happen if I put it on there? You guys will find out. If I come back and I've got, like, a, like a huge welt on my face, it's bright red, you guys are going to be like, girl, why'd you put that cold sweat on your face? <laughs> All right. Next is our oil. She does a great job with the bubble wrap. It was a big one. Prosperity spell oil. We expected nothing less than that. All right, and there is, is that a bay leaf? Maybe, because bay leaves are good for prosperity. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there's a crystal, <laughs> this, there we go, that was blocking the, uh... am I going to have to like, okay, I'm going to take this little stopper off here, because I want it on my body. What does that smell? I know the smell. It smells like licorice, like black licorice which is not my favorite smell in the world, but this doesn't smell bad. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh shit, I forgot to read about this. I was too busy talking about nothing. <laughs> okay, so alfalfa, alfalfa leaf and herb jar. Alfalfa is a feminine herb of the earth element. It is ruled by Venus. Alfalfa is a bringer of prosperity. <laughs> oh my God, that made me think of, do you guys, did you guys ever watch, um, sorry, I'm getting itchy. Did you guys ever watch, um, Shit, Sp uh, uh, Sp Spartacus. My brain. For those of you that don't know, my sorry, it's very bright. So I'm like, I look like I'm high. I'm not. I don't do anything like that at all. Um, I'm ADHD. For those of you who are new. So, did you guys ever watch Spartacus? <laughs> when they would, when they would uh, introduce him. Or, well, any of the guys, any of, like, the, um, the, the gladiators, they would be like, bringer of Ren, you know? <laughs> so, I was just thinking of this, alfalfa, the bringer of prosperity, it is green in color. <laughs> it will bring you <laughs> fucking something, I don't know what. <laughs> okay, moving, moving along. Carry it with you when you go to the bank for a loan. Yay! I'm putting it all in, I'm putting it in my bra. You guys can't see, I just put it in my shirt. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in rare form today. Uh, to protect your home and all who dwell within from hunger, po poverty, and unhappiness, keep a small jar of alfalfa in your kitchen cabinet or pantry. To protect your property, burn some alfalfa and scatter the ashes all around its boundaries and building. Mix alfalfa leaf with other prosperity herbs like marjoram, rosemary, and basil. And burn on a charcoal tab to bring a little money your way. Very nice. I actually have all of those. Marjoram, rosemary, and basil, and charcoal tabs, y'all. <laughs> I sell them in my store. <sighs> okay, you, see, for those of you who are new, you're going to think that I take things to act like this. I don't. This is me. <laughs> 
I mean, listen, my only vice are these, which are amazing. But really so bad for you. You know what I mean? Okay, moving along. <laughs> uh, we have a candle. I, okay, well, I won't read the top just yet, but it is a prosperity spell candle. Okay. Okay, it looked like it was like not focusing in the right way, in the right area. There is a little spell cantation situation. Oh, and look at my, if you guys didn't come to my live, look at my, look at my nails. I got sparkly blue, or not blue, Lisa, that's purple. I think I need to go to sleep and start over again. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't taken my ADHD medicine. They actually upped it. We'll see how it goes. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, my God. Look, there's like a Chinese coin in there. It looks like there's like little goldish flaky things. And then there is some sort of crystal. Um, it looks silvery. I don't know if it's uh, like a silvery pyrite. Speaking of pyrite, I'm gonna show you guys a really great pyrite. So, this was in my live sale. Can't believe nobody bought it. Like, so it's a pyrite sphere. But, oh my God, look at that. And yes, he is still available. If you guys are interested, just give me a, give me a holla. <laughs> okay, let's read about this book handle. It smells like that licorice stuff again. Did I forget to read about this? I'm really sorry, guys. I'm probably super annoying today. I am way ADHD. <laughs> it's over the top right now. Okay, let's let's go back to this guy because I'm having a really hard time staying on track. Um, do, 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 do. Prosperity oil. This prosperity oil was curated with the intention of bringing in the energies of prosperity. Can be worn on your body. Good thing, because I put it on my body. To draw prosperity to you even while you even while you are out of the home. I think that you should anoint yourself daily, yeah, with it. So I included a full one ounce bottle. That's what I'm saying. That's a big one. This month. As a part of the spell, basil leaves. Oh, it's basil leaves. What? Basil leaves? Green adventuring, gold mica flakes, and basil essential oil were all added to enhance the power of this spell oil. I mean, it didn't really look like bay leaves, but I thought maybe they like crinkled up. Um, but bay leaves are also good for prosperity. Um, so it talks about anointing yourself, something else that's in this box that I won't read yet, your prosperity spell candle, items on your prosperity altar, your front doorway, or other sacred space. Can I um, anoint all the crystals that I have? <laughs> Might be bad for some of them, I don't know. All right, so back to the candle. Golden Prosperity, yes, it is in a gold um, tin, cute. Golden Prosperity Spell Candle. This candle was spellcrafted with the intention of bringing in abundance of prosperity, made with 100% soy wax, adorned with a Chinese Feng shui, feng shui coin to represent wealth and abundance. This is a symbol of good fortune. Pyrite chips. Oh, it was pyrite. That's what I thought. And gold mica flakes. That's gold mica. Okay, yes. Uh, added also bring in abundance and wealth. Scented with basil essential oil as basil is a powerful abundance draw oil. There is a spell in the lid that can be used as your prosperity spell if you are drawn to it. You can also use with your own spell if you desire. Very nice. Um, I'll go ahead and read this. I think it'll be all right. So it says, I feel my prosperity everywhere. I invite abundance and financial health with ease. Enrich me in the best of ways, harming none on its way. Bring me money three times three as I accept, so mote it be. Yes. Love it. Thank you, Melissa. I've noticed, and maybe maybe it's just me and it's not it's not actually a thing, but I've noticed that her stuff has been saying Mrs. Melissa. Am I crazy? Did it say, like, I feel like it was maybe the last couple boxes says Mrs. Melissa. Did she get married or has she always been married? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we've got a little bit more crinkle paper to add to our crinkle paper monster. Put that over there. So, um, maybe he's a toddler now, right? Instead of a baby? Uh, where, he's, 
still he's still a baby. He might have he, he might be a couple months old now. All right, so we have a couple things in some gold sachets, lovely. So let me just pull this out too. Okay, this gold paper is just super pretty. Okay, put this over here. All right, next, we'll open this guy. The little box. Ooh, girl. So first off, in the box, there's the cute little kind of, it looks like grass, but it's not. <laughs> we have a necklace, if I can untangle it. Oh, okay. So we have a, the chain, I'll show you that in a second, but I wanted to show you guys the, oh pretty! Okay, I think right there is our money shot, kind of, yet, whoops. Ugh. It's a green adventuring little dangly do. It's a dangly do. It's a dangly do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just a delicate, like, silver chain. Not sure if you guys can really see that. Okay. Let me put it on here. I'm going to wear it. And I'm also going to anoint it with the bringer of prosperity. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, guys! I'm so sorry. If 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 uh, if you're new, <laughs> you guys want to subscribe yet? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Ten hours later, I don't think I can put like a SpongeBob like clip in there. First off, um, I'd have to like figure out how to put the clip in there. And second off, I think that you can't use copyright material, so that that's not gonna happen. Okay. So when I said that, just envision SpongeBob. Ten hours later. Oh my God. Like you guys came here to watch me try to fiddle with a necklace and try to put it on. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. <laughs> Yay. What does my shirt say? Kindness is groovy. Kindness is groovy. <laughs> Yay. Prosperity is also groovy. Okay, that up there. I'll keep this guy. One more sachet. Okay. Ooh, and, ooh, it's a crystal. It's a crystal. God, hold on. Let me get my exacto knife and see if I can open it. Yay, it's pyrite. I really need to get, I need a bigger house. <laughs> I need a bigger place so that I can have room for all my stuff because I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Very pretty, it's sparkly. So like this, you can see like the, the big cubes, right? And this one has little baby cubes. Hopefully you guys can see them. So fun. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, the last item is this big box. I actually saw what it is, but obviously I don't know what it looks like, but I'm like so excited. Oh shit, I'm gonna break the box now. Okay. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Did I read about the necklace? Damn it all the hell. I didn't read about the necklace or the pyrite. I'm having a hard time today. Okay. Green adventuring necklace. This beautiful green adventuring necklace will bring you luck and opportunity when worn. It also reduces electromagnetic smog. Oh my god, I need this while I'm working. Uh, increases joy and lightness, soothes the emotional body, and promotes spiritual growth. This necklace is stored on a bed of moss to ground its energies with the earth during shipping and storage, keeping it charged. And then the uh, pyrite. All right, pyrite is a popular crystal oh, it is for many reasons. It's a powerful protective stone that creates a shield against negative energy. Pyrite has a combination, excuse me, that ain't right. 
Pyrite has a connection to the solar plexus chakra and is used to increase strength, energy, willpower, and confidence. It's also a wonderful abundant stone encouraging wealth, prosperity, and success. In addition, pyrite can help to release negative energy and fears, including fears that may be blocking success. Very nice. Um, it's connected to the sun, which has a bright yang fire energy. Pyrite is a potent stone when it comes to cultivating abundance and prosperity. It's a great stone to work with if you want to develop an abundance mindset and welcome more wealth. Because of pyrite's connection to abundance, placing this crystal on your table by the front door, prosperity altar, or on your desk in your office is a great way to activate, activate the area. As you place your pyrite, set an intention for how you would like it to support you in inviting new energy into your life. Wonderful. Oh, whatever that was in that box, I just dropped it. Um, also, I do have this pyrite heart that was in my live show. He is still available. Very nice. And I do have pyrite tumbles in my, um, in my Etsy store if you guys are interested sure I will get more oh speaking of crystals I just got a box from China yay that I ordered last week so it came within like about a week so super excited shit um super excited I've got another box that should be coming any day now from China I've got one coming tomorrow from Pakistan and then uh, one coming from one of my longtime wholesalers uh that's in Pennsylvania, so I'm excited. Ooh. You guys ready to see what's in this box? Oh my gosh! Holy prosperity altar. <laughs> oh my god, she's big, y'all. It's Lakshmi. Ah, uh, I do have a baby Lakshmi that I got. Her her arm one of her arms broke. <laughs> Um, I got this one, this little baby one in a box. She, her, one of her arms back here broke, but I'm gonna, one of these days I'll put it back together. She's holding it in her lap currently. <laughs> but oh my God, look at this big one. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous she is. O-M-G. <gasps> I love you, Lakshmi. I love you. We're gonna be best friends. Oh, also, if you wanna be my best friend, you wanna be my BFF, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of BFs already. I would love more. I am so close to a thousand subscribers, guys. I think the last I checked, I was like it. I need like 30 more. 30 more subscribers and I can apply to be monetized, which is yay, so exciting. And I'm gonna do a giveaway. So, watch for it. You might receive something in this box. Okay, let's read about Lakshmi. Oh, I've been sitting here holding something with this paperwork and forgot to show it. The month's calendar. Okay, Golden Lakshmi Statue. Lakshmi is the goddess of good luck, wealth, and prosperity, both in the material and spiritual sense. Lakshmi is celebrated as part of, ooh, I'm going to say this wrong, Diwali. I think it's Diwali. And represents the joys of of a bountiful harvest. Lakshmi embodies the abundance of nature and people celebrate her to invite the wealth of fertile lands. On a spiritual level, Lakshmi represents spiritual wealth, wisdom, energy, and mental health. She is the goddess of beauty, sweetness, purity, and loveliness. All qualities which come from both spiritual and material wealth. Lakshmi was born from the churning of the primordial ocean. O -o ocean, ocean? No, the ocean. <laughs> she rose out of the turmoil of the waters on a lotus. She's sitting on her lotus right now. Surrounded by honeybees and budding flowers. Are there bees? I see flowers. I don't know that I see a bee, but that'd be fun. Okay, sorry, I'm itchy. I'm allergic to everything, by the way, guys. Okay. Um... Her grace and beauty made her into a beacon of light, attracting gods. Creatures of, all, creatures of all races were infatuated by Lakshmi. Lakshmi gave many of them a chance, but to no avail. A true connection wasn't formed. Amidst Lakshmi's many admirers were three gods, Shiva, Brahma, 
and Vish, 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 Vishnu. I know, I know, I know who that is. Okay. The three gods fought each other over the privilege to be Lakshmi's companion, and Vishnu was victorious. Upon his victory, Lakshmi chose him as her eternal consort, and together the two powerful deities restored balance in the world. Lakshmi is always by Vishnu's side and appears in all the myths about Vishnu. Whenever Vishnu was a human incarnation, Lakshmi incarnates alongside him as his wife. This custom statue of Lakshmi is designed to call on prosperity. Anoint her head and feel the energy of her blessings. Place her on a table near your front door or on your personal altar, made of resin, hand-painted gold. Ah, she is gorge, guys. O-M-G. Hopefully you can totally see her and stuff. So that is it for our prosperity box. Oop, I got one more thing, actually. This is our July calendar. And of course, Lakshmi is on the top. And if you guys are not familiar, she has like the um, the moon phases and like when it goes void and when it enters what um, zodiac sign and all that good stuff. And moon and zodiac calendar. This is a monthly calendar that will be included in everyone's box. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on Earth and within our bodies. It is especially important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Trick. You can find her at Schmoozy on Instagram and Facebook. And then on the back it talks about the moon and the zodiac and it's uh, non-specific, just uh, when the moon is in Virgo, these are the things that you can focus on, blah, blah, blah. And then are we having a Jupiter retrograde? Yes, Jupiter retrograde begins on July 28th, and it says, Jupiter travels, excuse me, I'm sorry, Jupiter rules travel, expansion, higher education, and finances. So you may have issues with transportation or trouble making progress when trying to expand or grow your business. Stop it. Or career during Jupiter retrograde. I'm not going to do that. I'm not letting it happen. <laughs> it's a good time to slow down. Make sh sure not to overspend. Now that's a thing and to take time to learn, study, and experiment. Okay, all right, that actually, mm -hmm. yes. Mama needs to finish all her courses that she has. <laughs> so that, that now is the end of our Sacred Space Crate for July 2022. I would love to know what you guys think. Of course, I love my Lakshmi, oh, she's so pretty. My Lakshmi um, statue, and I'm going to rearrange things in my living room and um, make a little altar with her. So, yay, so excited. So if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment below really helps out my channel. So what is your favorite item? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure you love the Lakshmi statue too. <laughs> uh, and also, if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, guys, thank you so much. We're BFFs, you guys know. <laughs> And I will announce my next crystal live sale on Instagram. So if you're not already following me there, I am at Luna Moth Creations Co., the same name as it is here. And most likely it'll be next weekend, as long as I get all my shipments this week, which I think, I think I'm going to. So I just need to uh, get everything priced and, and all that good stuff. But you guys will be seeing more crystals from me. Yay! All right, and that is it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Oh, until next time. This is what I do, usually do. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.